Hey gentlemen, all right, I'm going to talk about a topic today. It was a question uh, from a friend. Questions come in many forms uh, before. It's a massive male insecurity. I'm going to try not to say it right because it's got many, <coughs> sorry, it's got many different connotations to it and different sort of ways of saying it. Basically, how to overcome, how to deal with, how to handle the fear of uh, losing a girl. You know, if you're with a, if with a girl, you really love of her, how to overcome the fear of not losing her and then also you know I'm gonna answer two questions in one here how to deal with if you do lose her if you do separate from her so I'm first of all gonna sort of reference my own experience my own life and I'm gonna explain through what I feel you guys can do to help you to overcome this and deal with it I don't think overcome is the right word sorry I think it's more a case of how, how to deal with it so I remember from you know when I was young as long as I can remember I've said it before when I was insecure and I just felt really you know intimidated by women when I'd kind of get my first sort of girlfriends, it wasn't very really serious at the time, but I always had the fear of losing them, right? And what I've learned up to now, at the age of almost 32, and of having a lot more success with them, and failure too, is that whenever, whenever I've been afraid to lose a woman, it's because I'm not being myself. I know that's going to sound kind of strange and contradictory, but hear me out. So I'm not being myself in the sense that I'm falling into the fearful side of me. So I'm falling into what Alan Watts would say or what Eckhart Tolle would talk about or Jeff would say, my shadow side, my insecure side, which is afraid, it's, it's frightened of not being loved, it's frightened that the girl will lose me, it creates paranoia, I might get jealous that she's gonna leave me, I might be thinking that she's flirting with other men, all these sorts of irrational things and beliefs. And then I actually create these because, because I'm not being myself, my authentic self, the, the person that she was attracted to initially, the aligned man, what I took the congruent man, the man, the self-loved man, the man who knows who he is and is not afraid of her leaving me, although he can fully embrace her and want to be with her, I fall into the insecure part and I start people pleasing her. I start going out of my way to really please her because I'm afraid to lose her. She feels that, or maybe she doesn't understand it on a on a conscious level, unconsciously she feels she feels my fear. She feels that the shoes I buy her or the holidays I take her on or the the um, insincere compliments are not coming from the right place. They're not coming from the line place. They're coming from a place of insecurity. They're coming from a place of, please don't lose me. I'm terrified. I don't know what I do without you, right? That, that falls into that and I've been there. And I think, you know, I think every man's got to go through that. I'm, I'm not saying that, that it's easy. I think every man's got to go through that at least once in his life. I know it's hard, I know it's traumatizing, it's happened to me, it's had me in tears, it's had me angry, but we've got to go through it because we've got to learn, we've got to learn who we are. And we've got to go through that insecurity because if we don't go through it, maybe at a latter stage, a woman will leave us and it will fucking crush us, it will leave us in the ground. And um, I'm not exaggerating here, some, women, some men have committed suicide, jumped off bridges, you know, they've left their whole business behind because they're not inquired to who they are as a person. Once you know who you are, right, I know it's a very profound thing to say because I'm still learning. Once you've got a clear idea who you are, a woman can never reject you or leave you because only you can abandon yourself. Oh yes, of course on a practical level she can leave you, right? But if you've got the confidence and the skill and the courage and the honesty and the integrity and the self-love, you can go and meet another amazing woman. Now, the second thing I'm going to say is our fears are irrational. Now, I don't care she could be the most amazing woman in the world, and she probably is, there's always other women to meet. Now, I, I'm all about, even in my teaching, my courses, and, and everything I teach, I'm about, and it's not chauvinistic because I love women, and most of the stuff I learned was from women, and women, to some extent, are stronger than men. I really believe that, and I'm not just saying that. I'm learning that the more self-love I have for myself or I teach my students, the less we need the woman. It's, it's a profound thing that the less we, the less needy we are, the more they, they, they want us. Isn't that funny? And I find from that place of authenticity, from that place of self-love, we don't have to buy our shoes to, to make us stay with us. We don't have to stop her from wearing that certain dress to go out. We, I don't have to worry about when she goes out of her friends, is she gonna cheat on me? Because I'm so fucking alive, so congruent. I've got so much self-love, she won't do that. She won't wanna do that to me because she won't find a guy like me. She won't find a guy like you because it's very rare to find a man that's secure or the man that's secure with his insecurities and to show the woman. That's a very lie man. So I think how I'm gonna answer this question is, if a woman makes you feel that way, that's showing you, as Jeff would say again, that's showing you where you've got leaks. And it's okay to have leaks, because I've still got leaks and I'm filling those leaks with love. That's showing us where we need to grow it. She's, she's our teacher, that's what Jeff would say, and I love it. That's what Alan wants to say. Although it doesn't feel nice at the time, maybe we need to work on ourselves. Maybe we need to get ourselves in better shape so we don't feel more insecure. 
maybe we need to be more honest in our relationships and our personal relationships with our friends because that dishonesty in that area is affecting our self-worth and it's, it's manifesting in the relationship with a woman. Maybe we need to be less judgmental because maybe she's got insecurities, maybe she's not fully aligned with who she is and she's insecure about losing you, so she's seeking attention from other men. Maybe we've got to have the courage and the strength, I know it's hard, to, to let her dabble in a bit of flirt, flirting. As long as it doesn't go further than that, of course we get rid of her. Because we can see this beautiful young girl is still struggling too, and we can have a bit more compassion for her. And in doing so, we get stronger, we get more aligned, we get more self-love, and she gets drawn into us, all right? A sign of that, we must know, we must know deep in our heart that if this woman leaves us, we've got the skill to meet another woman. Now that may sound arrogant, I'm going to be arrogant because we need to have abundance in our life. The same is in our business. I need to know that I can spend money on film work or whatever, but because of my talents, because of my honesty, because of my teaching, because I know what I'm talking about, because I know myself, I'm getting to know myself more, I'll, get, I'll attract that money again. It's not a problem. The money will come in bundles, but I'm not thinking about attracting the money. I'm not thinking about attracting women. I'm enjoying talking to them. I'm enjoying being around. I'm enjoying myself. So whenever I fell into this, it's because I'm not happy in my life. I'm not happy of who I am. It's hard to admit it, but I have to be honest. I have to go where the truth is, and I'm jealous that she might find another guy. But then on another side, I get really excited because then I go, this is a chance for me to learn. This is a chance for me to become like that guy that I'm jealous of. And I, he's not an enemy, that guy. He's not a bad, but it's not his fault. I've got to, I've got to find the self-love what he's got because it's not his fault he's confident. It's not his fault that he's taller than me. It's not his fault that he's got more money than me. I can get inspired by him. I can do this. He's showing me where I'm going wrong. And so is the girl. So if you're feeling like that, that's what I think it is. Now on another level, if the girl's not for you, if she's got a bad attitude, if she's not in sync with your ethics and, your, and where you're going in your life and she's not the right, you've got to get rid of her. And that takes courage as well because so many times in my life I've put up with bullshit from women, from people because I'm afraid of being abandoned. I know that sounds very deep, I'll use a different word. I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid to get rejected by a girl I don't even want to be with. Because I don't have the confidence, I do have, you do have the confidence, when I say I, I mean you when you say me, you don't have the confidence or the honesty to admit to yourself you're afraid of getting to know yourself. Because if you knew who you are, you'd never be afraid of a girl leaving you. I'm not, I don't have that fear no more. It took many years, it took a lot of self-inquiry. I don't have that fear. I do have other fears, I'm not going to lie. I do have fears of maybe, you know, or maybe I do have it on a very, very deep level, but I don't recognise it. It doesn't stop me because I know I can meet other women, but that's not the point. That doesn't make it right because I can meet other women, I'm going to treat her bad because I can get, no, I'm not saying that. We have to be kind, we have to be loving, but if we're congruent, if we're being ourselves, if we know who we are, we won't be a people pleaser. We won't agree with her on something when we don't want to agree. We'll give her a compliment when we want to say it, all right? It comes back to the self-love. So if you're afraid of losing her, it's because you're not fully secure in yourself. But the most exciting thing is, you can fix yourself, you can get more and more secure. And sometimes it takes a woman leaving you to go on this journey, this journey that's, I've been going on this for 11 years now. It's been amazing, it's had ups, it's had downs, but it's amazing. So, if you feel that way, you've got to come back to yourself. And I've said it before, I'll go back, I'll go back out again, forget the spirituality, if it doesn't hit you that way, if she's not right for you, you've got to terminate the relationship, you've got to go and find another woman. How do you develop the skills if you don't have them? Because you're going to say, well, Johnny, it's all right for you, you're good with women, that's true. I don't feel secure, I wasn't secure. You've got, to, you've got to develop the skills. If you want to have what I've got, you've got to earn it. You can take coaching, get a mentor, you can invest in that. That's investing time and money. How much do you value yourself? If you value yourself a lot, you'll invest the time and money in a good coach, which is myself. If you don't resonate with me, then obviously I don't think you'd be watching this video. If you just come on now, you'll find another mentor. There's plenty of good ones out there. I recommend you check them out. Or if you don't want to invest your time in the mentor, you go out yourself and do what I've done, what some guys have done, which is hard, but it's very well possible to do without a coach. You go out and you'll practice your way into finding security. You'll develop the skill set to meet a woman. You may have to, I'm going to say it, and I'm not saying it's the right thing. You may have to sleep, about, you know, sleep with X amount of women. With honesty, I may add, with being honest, to get that self-love. It always comes back to the self-love, and I didn't understand it at the time but it always comes back to how much you value yourself. If you value yourself a lot, you can value others. And it's not about saying, I'm up here, people are down here. It isn't about that. It's very strange, because when you value yourself, you value everyone else. When you've got the self-love, you love the woman. So to some extent, what you're really saying is you're, you're afraid to love the woman. You're afraid to be yourself. You're, all these fears are conflicting, all right? 
I know that steep bit was a deep question. It needed some inquiry there. So practice your skills, get your fashion right, get confident with me and with my talking some more and uh, find security and also figure out, by figuring out who you are, you'll know the type of woman that you want to be with and those values will align. If you, and believe me, when you meet the right woman, you know it because you'll have no choice and she'll, she'll want to connect with you, all right? So I hope, that, I hope that helps, right? Like and subscribe, enjoy the process. If you want to see practical videos that will teach you how to find that self-love, how to become more secure on a very practical level, which you might know as pickup, check out my members area. You've got a two week free trial. It's a seven pound a month subscription. You get one video every week, which is four videos per month. Quality videos, full in fills, and a breakdown analysis teaching you how to attract beautiful women and teaching you how to have this abundance so you will not be in a relationship and be afraid to lose a woman. Because if you do lose her, God forbid, you've got the skill to go out and meet other women. And you've also got the skill to be honest with her in the relationship and to tell her if you're not happy. I really appreciate it. And I almost forgot one thing. If you've, if you've done the members area stuff, if you've gone through many applications of videos and products and you're sick and tired of this fear bullying you in every area of your life and being afraid to have women you know, leave you, check out my six weeks transformation program. It's very practical and I go very deep and I take you out and take you through this transformation. It's very spiritual, it's very practical, it's very powerful and I've had amazing results for students and I love teaching it but you've got to be serious for it. And uh, you just get in touch with me, send me an email, we'll have a chat and we'll figure out if we're right for each other, right? Until then, find the self-love and find that security by going out and challenging your securities, as always. Bye.